Hallelujah. Welcome, Facebook Live. We finna get it in. Quick prayer. Spirit of the Most High, we love you. Thank you for this opportunity to come before you. Humble as we know how. Um, send a relevant word to this to your people that we may uh, grow thereby. We trust and believe in you, and we're in celebration mode. In the match, in the name of Yahushua, I'm going to when we pray. Hallelujah, hallelujah, and all may. I want to thank everybody for chiming in. This is Watchman Yahoo to Israel, also known as Pastor Derek Mann. On uh, early when I see the prayer line on his twenty twenty fifth on on his twenty fifth day in July twenty eighteen. I'm still waking up, y'all. Y'all hit your friends list. We finna get it in again. We got to grow together, so we just retouching on necessary foundation foundation um, doctrines. So that we can throw up all this uh, religion, fake church stuff, and let's get in the word. This this overdoing the camp stuff and this fake church stuff, we're going to learn to rightly divide the word. So we touched on these topics. So let's go to Hebrews this morning. Let's go to Hebrews. Super important. Miss Jackson, shalom, bless you. My sister, Trenda, Trenda, love you, young lady. Uh, Good to see you on with us. Y'all hit y'all share buttons and stuff. You hear me? And get ready to share when we done. You got to go witnessing with your fingertips. Shalom, shalom, Trenda. Okay, uh, let's go to Hebrews. Let's get it in, y'all. Hebrews. Um. Okay. <clears throat> Beginning at the... Um, I start the first verse. Look what it says. Now faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. Um, th there is a methodology to cause the invisible to become tangible, and that's a necessity, right? That's not trying to be deep or nothing. That's just, it's a straight necessity in the life of a believer. Now, faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. What's not seen has evidence. Yeah. Um, I could be hungry and you can't see it. But the evidence is... I'm in pursuit to eat. Yeah. I could hate you, but it will manifest. I could hate you and you can't see it and you don't know it. But it's going to be manifested. Which then is brings in the thought that, uh, you know, the, the Messiah had a problem with people Drawing now on him with their mouth, honoring him with their lips, but their heart was far from him. Because out of the heart, you know, flows the issues of life. You know, you know, out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaketh. The evidence uh, can come out what you say based on what's in your heart. So your heart is what's invisible. You don't know what a person is thinking until they open their mouth or their actions um, um, you know, reveal it. Well, the problem with uh, the Messiah had with the people was they draw now on him with their mouth, but their mouth was speaking stuff that their actions didn't back up. And and we have a whole lot of people that don't have the appropriate faith because they can speak it, but they're not gonna live it. So a, a, a twisted theology offers a verbal relationship with the Most High. Putting all the responsibility of the lifestyle on who they call Jesus. And that is the normal theology. That's, to be honest with you, 
That's the high 90 percentile of Christianity. It's a verbal relationship with the Most High as we continue in sin that grace may abound. We continue in sin that grace may abound. And we just want to throw all the responsibility on who um, the average American knows as Jesus. Now, faith is the substance of things hoped for. Um, we're headed towards, not completely, we're headed towards tangible when we start dealing with substance. We're headed towards it. Because it is laying a platform, because the uh, substance, the substance that it's speaking of is what your action stands on. What your action stands on, right? In other words, um, my action stands on my belief in a chair when I'm tired and want to sit down. So the substance becomes my faith in the chair. And then uh, the, vi the invisible part could be that you don't know I'm tired and want to sit down. But then my evidence is when I walk towards the chair and actually sit down. So faith, now I play with words, but being literal when it comes to the English translation of the scripture, right? Now faith is the substance tangible. Faith is the substance of things hoped for. What am I hoping for? I'm hoping to be reconciled with the most high. The gospel, uh, the good news, the, the word accused me of being a sinner and in need of a savior. Accused me of, uh, of, of being on my way to hell. And so what I'm hoping for is to be reconciled. With the most high. Isn't that the goal? St. John 3 and 16. For Yah so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. That whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life. So I'm hoping not to perish. I'm hoping not to perish. All this time we've been in church playing a church game. Even unbeknownst to ourselves. Going to church and the club. Going to church having children out of wedlock. Going to church fornicating. Going to church getting drunk and high. We had hope. Of being with the Most High as we went against them, but the theological platform gave us that state of mind that it was cool. That's how it worked, right? Sinners saved by grace. But now that the Most High is pouring out more truth, pouring it out, I wish you get to the point that you can go anywhere and get the truth. But unfortunately, you got to be selective of, of who you sit up under and who you listen to if you want real truth. But he's pouring it out in these last and evil days. Unfortunately, far and in between, but he is pouring it out. And so faith is the substance of things hoped for. I'm hoping to be with him. So it produces evidence. And the evidence is your actions. The evidence of faith is what you do. That's why in James it says, faith without works is dead. The works is the evidence. Abraham's obedience was the evidence that he had faith in the Most High. Had he not had the evidence or the action that his faith was dead, then the world is con condemned. Then there is no father, Abraham. There is no man that's the father of faith. The father of Israel, his chosen children, based on the faith of Abraham. You can throw that out the window. It took someone that heard what the Most High said, and they did it. And that's how Satan has infiltrated the belief system to incorporate the ideology of the devil, of the snake, of the serpent, inside of what they call Christianity. He did a job on the Hebrew truth, too. Now, don't get it twisted. He, he, he sent them, they found out that they're Israel and they went straight up under the law. They left what they call grace and went straight up under the law trying to be justified by the law. It, 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 come on, y'all. Now, faith is the substance. Faith, faith, it, look, it says now faith is. Do you want to know what faith is? 
the scripture is telling you. It's, it's no guessing. Faith is the substance of things hoped for. It is derived from what you're hoping for. And prayerfully, when the gospel came and accused you of being a sinner, you were hoping not to be a sinner anymore. You believe that the wages of sin is death, so you don't want to die. Nor do you want to continue to walk in disobedience to the Most High. So that's what you're hoping for. We're not talking about faith in the lottery, faith in your paycheck, faith in uh, getting a paycheck. The evidence would be you would go to work, even when you're tired, even when you got a rude and mean boss. Your faith, your your evidence is you show up at eight from nine to five. Let's rock with that one. From nine to five, you going tired, sick, not feeling well. You pressing on like Lee Nails to get to work and obey this man, obey the system. To get that paycheck. We're not talking about that. Now faith is the substance of things hoped for. It's the evidence of the unseen. We're talking about faith in the most high. The type of faith that Abraham had. He, he didn't have faith in, 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 in this worldly system. In the survival of this worldly system. He forsook that to have faith in the most high. Some people got faith in their marriage. Some people got faith in their man. Some people got faith in their money. People got faith in a woman. Some people got faith in all kind of stuff. But we're right here. We're talking about faith is the, the substance of things hoped for. It should be you're hoping not to die like a sinner. So a preacher can come to your funeral and preach you in heaven and you didn't even go. Just to further deceive your family. To keep the curse, the generational curse going. That all y'all going to end up in hell. But somebody going to come. That you give $150 to, $200. Some people pay more. For the preacher to get up there and lie and preach you into heaven. Now faith. We talk about faith. Is a substance of things hoped for. It's, it, 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 it's derived from what you're hoping for. If you don't have no hope in Yah to rescue you then you ain't got no faith because faith is derived from hope. Faith is uh, uh, who is towards someone and is supposed to be towards the most high and it produces something. It produces an evidence. So the, the evidence that comes from it is, is what proves the faith, the action, the lifestyle. If you say you believe in the most high, and you still fornicate and commit adultery, you still a drunk, you still a dope fiend, you still a liar, then you don't have the faith you think you have. And it could be because you you're the seed of the devil. Just you can you can only be a hypocrite, a play actor. You can only have a form of yaliness, denying the power thereof, or your theology, you've been bit by false doctrine to the point that you don't know the responsibility of being saved. You've been lied to. You put everything on Jesus. You give yourself a, a, a sinner's pass that I'm only human. You, you, you're not being taught appropriately scriptures that tell you that the Messiah said, if you come after me, you must deny yourself. You don't have the revelation of that. You, you, don't, you, don't, you, don't, you, don't, you don't have the revelation of when you accepted him, you was baptized into his death. And like he was raised up by the power of the Father, even so we should walk in the newness of life. You don't have that revelation. You have a different spin on it in your head, right? If anyone being a Messiah, he's a new creation. You don't know what that means. Because you have the serpent's doctrine of you're just a, a, this helpless sinner saved by grace. You can go to the club, you can sleep with them, you can commit fornication, adultery. When you get mad, you go and cuss them out, even though the words say uh, uh, anger rests in, in the bosom of a fool. It say be angry and sin not. But when you say got the Ruach HaKadosh, his spirit living in you, you ain't running around there angry all the time. There will be things in this wicked world that will anger you, but you're not going to abide in it. You're going to abide in the spirit. You're going to abide walking in love because you're a new creation. You're not running around here a club and dropping it like it's hot twerking a uh, 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 church person. Cussing and talking, justifying your wickedness. Making him look bad. The word teaches a theology like 
people will be able to see your good works and magnify your father, which is in heaven. Ain't nothing good about you twerking. You, you getting spanked and, and, and you spanking. You, you didn't, you, 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 come on, somebody. You drunk talking about the goodness of God. No, that, nobody want to hear that. Not from you. You need to repent. So now faith is the substance of things hoped for. You should be hoping to be like the most high. That's why a first Yachanan, first John says, he that has this hope purifies himself even as he is pure. He that has this hope, the hope uh, to, 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 to repent, to hope to change. You got to first repent. You believe, when you're a believer, the next move is to repent. When, when, when someone come preach to you, tell you about the good news, tell you that the Mashiach died on, on that cross, on, on the tree, on the tree for your sins. When you believe in, and that he rose again, that should that should bring hope if you're a believer. You believe that? The next move is you have hope that he can change you and save you. And that leads to then repentance. And repentance is the evidence of the unseen. That happened inside of your heart. And you're thinking the word came inside of your heart. That's unseen. So in talking to you, you 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 screwing and you lying, you got a pistol. You know, you, you, you a rascal. You getting your money any kind of way you can. And then someone is speaking to you like the pimp and the player was speaking to you. They're speaking to you like your parents tried to speak to you and you wouldn't listen. Someone is speaking to you, but there's something going on on the inside because his sheep hear his voice. The word is changing you and transforming you, but it's invisible. It's unseen. So then you wait for the response. That's the evidence. <clears throat> the evidence is your response to the word. And when you respond in faith, not only will you confess with your mouth, but you'll believe in your heart. Then you'll confess it with your mouth because life and death is in the power of the tongue. Then your life going to follow what you said because your mouth and your heart finally came on one page. You knew we said a whole bunch of stuff that we didn't mean when we was in them streets, we was hustling and slick. Con, oh, daddy, I love you. Ooh, I don't know how I'm going to pay my rent. Now, faith is the substance, right? It's the substance of things hoped for. What's invisible is hope. You hoping inwardly. Y'all, the computer went dead on us, but I'm going to keep teaching. <laughs> But what, what, what is, what, what is, what, 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 the hope is what's invisible, not faith. See, folks think faith is invisible. Uh, faith produces a seeable, tangible action, period. If the tangible action don't manifest, then your faith is dead. Y'all read James, the second chapter. So you can get even a deeper understanding. This is sermonette, so I ain't going to take y'all all, all over the place. But faith is the, the substance of the invisible hope. It's the evidence. You cannot go in the courtroom without tangible evidence. Say what you want. You're going to need some evidence. And faith produces evidence. It produces evidence of the unseen. That's why if we keep reading and say... For by it, the elders obtain a good report. The good report is the evidence, the life that they live because of the faith. Then it went on to say, through faith, we understand that the worlds were framed by the word of Yah. Yeah, he, he, he moved across the face of the deep. And it was filled with darkness. And he said, let there be light. And there was light. It produced light. The word produced. It brought forth something. So it's the, it's the same thing that we use, faith. It produces an action, period. Then we skip down to the sixth verse to expedite time, and it says, and, but without faith, it is impossible to please him. you got too many people trying to have a relationship with the most high without faith. See, faith is produced from hope. You hope that 
And the Most High began to work in you, and he's going to finish it. He's going to present you blameless before his presence. From a theological standpoint, if the devil trick you into believing that Jesus is going to do it without your participation, you've been deceived. See, false doctrine teaches you that it was his death, burial, and resurrection alone. But if you keep studying, you'll find out in Romans, the sixth chapter, you were baptized into his death. And like as he was raised up, resurrected by the power of the father, even so we should walk in the resurrection in the newness of life. Because if we were in him, we become a new creation, a new creature. He ratifies the problem. It's rectified. The, the, the issue is rectified. our disobedience. Abraham walked in faith. He walked in obedience. And now we walk in obe obedience. The wrath of the Most High abides on the children of disobedience. That's what we used to be. But when the gospel came and proved to us that we were sinners, that you getting spanked like you've been getting spanked, tan up in bedrooms and stuff. You sneaky and real quiet. All that stuff you've been doing, you weren't supposed to be doing that. And the gospel comes and accuse you of it. You were supposed to feel bad about it, apologize to the most high and change to walk in the newness of life. And that is your faith. That is the, the, the evidence of the unseen. The unseen was you were pricked in your heart. Finally, all that game you've been spitting and kicking all them lies you was telling you were, you were doing that out of a black, dark heart, an unrejuvenated, sinful heart. But when you fell in love with truth, you were made alive. Your heart became alive because of the hope you had in the most high. Because you were a believer in the most high. He then changed you through faith. Because without it, it's impossible to please him. For he that cometh to the most high must believe that he is. And that he's a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. And you're going to seek him. I don't care what it look like. Care how lonely you get. How broke you are. How bad they treated you. You're going to bounce back because greater is he that's in you than he that's in the world. Without faith, true faith. Come on, y'all. Faith without works is dead. We didn't heard so many theologies. We've been lied to. And we got to shake ourselves and come up out of that religious state of mind that enables you to live like the devil. Repent and do it quickly. Because the response of faith it's true repentance. I ain't sleeping with her. My wife. True faith. It leads to repentance. The evidence. Now faith is the substance of things hoped for. What are you hoping for? You hoping to go to heaven? And still live like the devil? Well then that's exactly what you're going to be doing. You're going to hope to go to heaven. You're going to put all the responsibility on who you call Jesus. And you're going to back it on up. You're going to drop it like it's sizzling hot. Like it just came out the microwave, baby. You're still going to cuss them out. You're still going to come up with excuses. 90 going north, baby. You're on your way, huh? You're on your way to Vegas. Sin City. What, 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 what you do in Vegas stays in Vegas. Don't you tell nobody. But if you mess around and have true, true faith, True faith, faith is the is the is the the, the 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 byproduct of hope. The gospel, the good news, the word brings hope in his children in this wicked world we living in. We was doing our natural born thing, but the true word came to us, interrupted our our regular scheduled program of mayhem and scandalousness, lust and get paid. The true word came and interrupted that, those that belong to him. Because it, it brought hope that you could change. You ain't got to be like this. Even though this whole world is scandalous as heck, he told us to save ourselves from this untoward generation. This untoward church generation. This un, untoward religious generation. He's calling us out of the darkness into the martyr's light because many are called but few are chosen. Bunch of religious people, they called, but they not chosen because not everybody's willing to do it, y'all. Not everybody's willing to forsake this place and change. Huh. 
But without faith, it's impossible to please him. You ain't got no faith, you ain't pleasing him. I care how good you can sing. Rapping gospel and all that. That don't mean nothing. Without faith, it's impossible to please him. For he that covered to y'all must first believe that he is. You got to be a believer. <coughs> and that a, he's a rewarder. What you do for him is not in vain. He's a rewarder. He's worth you leaving cat daddy. Pussycat mama. He's worth, he's worth it. He's worth you walking away from that lifestyle. From that wickedness. From them habits. He's worth you walking away from yourself. And your wicked, your wicked stinking thinking. He, he's worth it. He's a rewarder and you know it. You believe him. He can transform you. He can change you. And you believe it. You are tired of being a, a fake church person. Who are you in the bed with after you leave service? Who are you playing footsie with in service? Why are you and the pastor so close? What's going on with y'all? But without faith, it's impossible. You're going to try to have a faith with the most high without, without faith because you're going to put it all on Jesus. Jesus got you, and you ain't got to have faith, right? Once saved, always saved. You accepted him 15 years ago, and you didn't, you didn't, you didn't, you didn't had so much illegal sex and cussed out so many doggone people. You didn't been drunk so many times and been on so many drugs. You didn't messed around with so many people's spouses. You didn't. But Jesus got you. You ain't got to have faith, right? You can have dead faith without works is dead. You ain't got no works towards y'all at all. But you do pr pray over your breakfast. You do pray before you go to bed. And you on your way to heaven, you've been deceived. Be not deceived. Y'all's not mocked. Whatsoever man soweth, that shall he also reap. If you sow to the flesh, you're going to of the flesh reap corruption. But if you sow to the spirit, you shall of the spirit reap life everlasting. Be not deceived. Now faith is the substance of things hoped for. It's starting to cook a picture that faith will produce a substance. It's starting to come together now, see. Now faith is a substance of things hoped for. you got to have the hope. And hopefully the gospel brought you hope that he began a work in you. What work did he begin? He accused you of sin, made you feel bad about it, and then he baptized himself inside of you so you can walk away from it. Because greater is he that's in you than he that's in the world. If his spirit is living inside of you, then greater is he that's in you than he that's in the world. What's in the world? The lust of the eye, the lust of the flesh, and the pride of life. The three substances we've been living by before the true gospel came, before the true word came. The true word came to, to, to bring forth light out of the darkness of your life. Like he said in the beginning, let there be light and life came forth. Now he's speaking to us. Let there be light and light should come forth out of your life. It should produce deliverance from substance abuse. From your short temper, from your horniness, from your selfishness, from self-preservation. The only self-preservation we should have is to save ourselves from this untoward generation. And that type of uh, uh, self-preservation will cause you to care about other people's well-being. So you can live the life in front of them. So they can magnify your father which is in heaven because they're watching how he changed you. True faith. Now faith. It's the substance of things hoped for. The anchor of it is what you're hoping for. And the anchor came from you hearing the gospel. The good news. The word came. You believed it. You believe that there's a rescue mission for your soul. For you. Now you hope that it happens to you. And it produces the evidence of the unseen. All that happened inside of your head, Fred, in your heart. All that happened inside of you, the operation of the Most High, because of his invisible word. His invisible word attached to your soul, and now it's bringing forth light. The sword went to sow. The seed of the word is planted inside of us. You know we, he formed us out of the dirt. The, 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 the seed of the word was planted in, in, in the dirt man, us. And it should bring forth fruit. It should bring forth evidence. Of the unseen. What the word is doing inside of the dirt. You can't see it. It's under the dirt. The word is inside of us. 
we're dirt. But now it's going to bring forth a lifestyle. It's going to create a new, a new person, a new individual. If any man be in, in the Messiah, he's a new creation. You're going to come anew. They're going to wonder why you're not cussing no more. They reaching for your for your sexual parts and you hit their hand away and say, if you do it again, don't come around me. They're going to hand you the blunt. They're going to hand you the liquor and tell you to get drunk. And you're going to come out from among them and be separate. Because without faith, it's impossible to please him. Without faith in his word, you're going to go against his word. And you're going to do you. And you can't please him doing you. The spirit... Lust against uh, uh, the, the the flesh, lust against the spirit, and the spirit against the flesh. These are contrary to one to another. So in, in Galatians, the fifth chapter, say you cannot do what you want to do. This is a sermon net, so I'm gonna have to get the heck up out of here. But this is enough word to get you through till tomorrow. We'll be back at it again. Cause without faith, it's impossible to please Him. He don't care nothing about how good you look. Or how good your uh, pancake mix is. Ain't no lumps nowhere. Your peach cobbler. He don't care nothing about that. You want to go feed the poor? Then you met one and you, and you cleaned him up and started sleeping with him. He's not impressed with your good deeds. Our, our, our righteousness is as filthy rags. Maybe I might preach it soon. But without faith it's impossible to please him. You can't please him walking in the flesh. Walking according to the course of this world. Having a form of Yah and is denying the power thereof. Without faith, it's impossible to please him. For he that cometh to Yah must first believe that he is. You got to be a believer. And that he's a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. What you do for Yah is the only thing that's going to last. Be not deceived. Yah is not mocked. Whatsoever man soweth, that shall he also reap. Come on, somebody. Don't be deceived. In closing, I'll start with the first scripture. Now faith is the substance of things hoped for. What are you hoping for? To be like the most high? Well, he that has this hope purifies himself. Even as he is pure. It is the evidence of the unseen. The unseen have evidence. You should be believing in the most high in your heart. And can't nobody see it. But they're going to know it. Because it's going to produce evidence. It's going to produce a Yali lifestyle. Spirit of the Most High, we love you and thank you for this opportunity to come before you for this quick sermonette to glean in your word. We pray that your word will forth with clarity, falling down the souls of your children to the point that they're transformed by the renewing of their mind, that they're regurgitating and spitting up religion and trading it, trading it in for true relationship. Uh, we deem that your word did exactly what you sent it to do. The word has gone out of your mouth and will accomplish what you please and you please it to rescue your children that we may come home with you to live in eternity. We trust, believe, and thank you in the matchless name of Yahushua HaMashiach. We humbly pray. Hallelujah, hallelujah, and amen. Uh, I was tired as heck. I woke up just moments ago. That's why my hair looks so good. With I love New York shirt on, and I'm from Oakland, California. But um, I did my part. If the word blessed you, you do your part. All you got to do is push share. If the word blessed you, and you believe it can bless and save somebody else, snatch them out of religion and start aiming them towards having a true relationship, push the share button. It's really that simple. And two, the word teaches if I saw unto you carnal, you should sow on to me spiritual. You know, I love preaching. I preach eight times a week. I love preaching and teaching. I love studying. And uh, your offering, you know, would help that. And so, if this is good, only if it's good ground. If I'm a false prophet and, and what I preach ain't true, please don't send nothing. Pray for me. But if it's true, so. so. Um, and I should have, so I can give to others the need. I can't just be preaching to people and they hungry and need stuff. PG and even get cut off, and I'm balling. You know, you don't collect money to buy a jet and go in floss mode. That's that devil stuff, man. We need to really start doing things um, 
uh, the way the words say do it. So again, if you believe this is a good ministry and you want to sow, and the Most High leads you to, you can go to PayPal. Put in DerekMan5857 at Yahoo.com. That's D-E-R-R-I-C-K-M-A-N-N, 5857 at Yahoo.com. Not too many people sowing in this ministry, to be honest with you. And it would be a blessing if some would start. Y'all be Baruch and Brock and Shalom. But before I go, look, we on the uh, conference line, 302-202-1102, extension 815-648. Again, 302-202-1102, extension 815-648. The elements is bothering us right now, and it's, sometimes it's hard to get in. Some people can get in. Some people can't. But I love y'all enough to give you my personal phone number to the world, 510-938-0144. If you can't get in, you can call uh, my number, and I got conference. I can chime you in so we can fellowship. All we do is talk about the word. We're about to do that right now to give commentary on what we just heard. You're more than welcome to come in and hang out with us. We love you. Thanks for hanging out. We'll be back on tomorrow morning. 6 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, if y'all permit. Y'all stay Baruch and Baraka Shalom.